So, a warning to all chatters. First of all, victim blaming is not acceptable. We will mute you for an extended period of time if you're doing fucking victim blaming bullshit in the chat, okay? And two, if anybody even jokes about wanting to see any of the stuff, any of the explicit bullshit that will not be shown on this stream at any point, if anybody even jokes about that, you will be banned from my chat, okay? I know that sounds really aggressive. I don't really want to be mean. I know you're all fresh here. A lot of you are fresh here, but I just have to say that because we have a zero tolerance policy here for the abuse of children. Zero. Okay? Without any further ado, let us begin, okay? Let us begin with the saga, okay? How many of you are familiar with Kellyanne Conway? Yeah, anybody, anybody know who Kellyanne Conway is? Kellyanne Conway was the senior counselor to Donald Trump and was also Donald Trump's campaign manager. I am going to show you a picture of her now, okay? Here we go. So let me just show you who Kellyanne Conway is. You will recognize her immediately, I promise. I promise. Oops, I gotta put the box up. Oh, why did that disappear? There we go. Oh, God, why is it small here? Oh, stupid, stupid. There we go. Content warning abuse. There we go. Okay, there we go. This is Kellyanne Conway right here. You have probably seen Kellyanne Conway on the news. You have probably seen Kellyanne Conway on the internet. You have probably seen her posting stupid bullshit about Donald Trump on Twitter. Kellyanne Conway was, in many ways, the face of the Donald Trump admin for a very, very long time. Or at the foot of your bed during sleep paralysis. That is a possibility as well. Um, Kellyanne Conway is a professional liar. And that's the first thing that you need to understand about Kellyanne Conway. And I mean that literally. Her job is to be a media surrogate for Donald Trump. Now, for those of you who don't know what a media surrogate is, I'm sure many of you do, but for those who don't, a media surrogate is somebody who officially represents you in the media when you couldn't possibly be at every single media thing. You know what I mean? So, for example, Donald Trump, as lazy and terrible and incompetent of a president as he is, physically cannot be at every news station every single time the news needs to ask the White House about things that are going on. So, there will be surrogates. And Kellyanne Conway, this lady right here, was the primary surrogate for Donald Trump. She is, yes, she coined the alternative facts. Remember that? Everybody said, well, we don't believe that we're, we believe we're telling the truth, but we believe we have a set of alternative facts. That was something she said on international news in favor of Donald Trump. So, uh, yeah, like I was saying, this is up somebody who is a professional liar, and that needs to be kept in mind throughout this entire segment, because it is impossible to separate that from what has been going on in this story. Absolutely impossible. Yes, that now, was why her. are we talking about Kellyanne Conway today? We are talking about Kellyanne Conway today because her daughter, Claudia Conway— whose picture I will bring up here in just a moment, um, has been for many, many months. Um, let me see if I can get a good image because most of the media's images of her are pretty unflattering. Here we go. This is a, this is a recent picture of her, okay? Here is Claudia Conway. Claudia Conway is Kellyanne Conway's 15-year-old daughter. So, very young. And as you can see by this little TikTok icon in the bottom, at Claudia M. Conway, is a bit of a big deal on TikTok. Now, Claudia Conway has had a huge following on TikTok for a really long time, actually. No, she's she's 15. I, I mean, she might be 17. I believe she's 15. Um, I, I apologize if the date... The, yeah, she's actually... Oh, she's actually 16. Did she just turn 16? She might have just turned 16. Uh, I've seen, again, the numbers have going all over the place. 16. Okay, 16. My bad. Uh, small error. Um... Yeah, a, a very, very young uh, individual. And Claudia has had public conflict with her mother, Kellyanne Conway, the surrogate for Donald Trump 
to the international news um, for a long time. And as it turns out, this has actually been been going for a, a really, really long time. Like, uh, like, there's been a lot of mistreatment for a while, but the allegations have only really started peaking up to an extreme lately. Um, and this really reached ahead earlier this week, okay? Like, I mean, it got out of control. For those of you who don't know, and again, content warning here, what, it, what happened, what transpired earlier this week is that Kellyanne Conway, the surrogate to the international news for Donald Trump, used a, a uh, somewhat unpopular, but nonetheless very, very powerful feature on Twitter called a fleet. Is, does anybody know what a fleet is? A fleet is, it's like a Snapchat for Twitter. It's a uh, image, it's a tweet that you can send out to tons and tons of people and it will delete itself after 20 minutes or after, not 20 minutes, after 24 hours. It's a message will self-destruct. It, it's a Snapchat. If you've ever done Snapchat, um, they're only on mobile, the twos. They're only on mobile twos. So, um, can you view a fleet multiple times? Yes, you can. You can view a fleet multiple times. Uh, and as we discovered last night, it's actually kind of easy. Uh, well, this will, we'll get there. The fact of the matter is fleets, um, will be, and here's the weird thing about fleets. Fleets will be sent to a special feed. No, they're in a unique feed. If you use mobile at the top of your Twitter, you will see a bunch of little circles of people's faces. Those are where the fleets show up. So it shows up at the very top of your timeline. Now, admittedly, a lot of people don't use this feature nonetheless, but it goes directly to your followers. They're a very direct form of communication. Kellyanne Conway sent out a fleet that contained a single image. And that image was a nude photo of her own 16-year-old daughter. So you can see just how absolutely fucked this is. Now, Kellyanne Conway is followed by a lot of people. A lot of people, okay? Like, I don't even know if I can get the stats. I didn't even grab this number because I just didn't even think about, like, grabbing the actual... 33 million? 3.3 million? I believe you. Yeah, let's see. I, I mean, I don't even think her... I don't even think her account is available. Oh, oh, she is. Somehow she's not been banned. 3.3 million followers. 3.3 million followers. All across the world. Many of those people are journalists, politicians, diplomats, you know, powerful people at corporations, state officials, senators, representatives. It is unbelievable how bad this occurrence is. Nope, it absolutely happened. A lot of people saw it. I mean, again, this was sent directly to a lot of, like, this fleet went directly to a lot of mainstream media reporters. There were reporters. There were anchors that you recognize and know who work for CNN and Fox News and, and all of this who have now seen Kellyanne Conway's 16-year-old daughter naked. That is child porn. But unfortunately, this isn't the beginning of the entire saga. This is just what has brought it to the attention of the entire world at this point. Like, the entire world is now aware of this. Every nation on the planet now knows that one of the most important people of Donald Trump's admin just sent out child porn of her own daughter. Very, very fucked. Now, we're going to talk about a whole lot of different stuff. Hey, Wolfgar, good to see you. We're going to talk... Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention this. Just so you all know, I appreciate 
anything that you send my way at any point, but I am going to be muting all donations for this period of time. There won't be any donations or alerts on the screen because this is a serious topic. So don't expect those things to come through right now. In fact, I'm gonna, I need to make sure that I uh, mute them over here as well. Okay, so yeah, later we'll turn them back on, but for now we're going to be undistracted, okay? So let's get into the rest of the story because that is actually perhaps uh, more important in the big picture because as it turns out, Claudia Conway has been crying out for help for a very, very long time. And I mean like a really long time. Now, some of us who are really, really into politics might remember uh, last year a very public TikTok feud between Kellyanne Conway and her daughter, Claudia Conway. Claudia uh, made a TikTok complaining about her mom not wearing a mask. Shortly afterwards, Claudia fell ill with COVID-19. Despite not having contact with anybody but her own family. Um, and uh, yeah, so this and this was last year. And keep in mind that there have since been since that time, Claudia has repeatedly uh, attempted to find a way to get help. In fact, going so far as to at various points record videos stating, I will never leave social media willingly. If I leave social media, it is because I was forced to. And so far, she has kept that promise. We'll get to that though. We'll get to the conclusion of that in a little bit. A dead man switch. Yeah, it's it's saying if I disappear, it's because somebody got me. Basically. Um, and Claudia has a lot of inroads among influencers, as it turns out, despite the fact that like, you know, the politics world, you know, those of us who fixate on politics don't really hear about this very much. Claudia has a lot of connections among influencers. And that is going to become a huge part of the story as we go on, because a whole lot of new stuff has come out even since the last time I talked about it, which was last week. Let me show you, first off, the tweets that started, or sorry, the TikToks that started this wave of events. Okay? And warning, they're a little bit intense. They're pretty fucking intense. So just be ready for this sort of shit. We're not doing... This is... Uh, this is not like a... An in, I mean, it is an investigation. I did, as to the best of my ability, as high-quality journalism as I possibly can on this. This is serious mama segment. Okay? So let's uh, let's let's watch this real quick together. Okay? This is a backup of now deleted, of since deleted TikToks that were up on Claudia's account for a long time. Claudia, Claudia has since deleted these TikToks, but many people have backed them up, in my opinion, for good reason. So let me show you. Warning. Do you know what you've done to yourself? Do you know what you've done to yourself? 15. No. You're fucking immature. You get all over the what you saw right there was her getting hit, and now you're seeing her getting hit again. She said I cleaned. Can you stop? Objects are being thrown at her. She's being sworn at. And they're paying attention to you because they know. And you can hear that that is the voice of Cla of Kellyanne Conway. It's very obvious. That you need extra help. What'd you call me? What do you want to know? Hypo? Hyper. No, I said hyper. You know from the doctor is hypo? What do you want to know? You can hear her. Hypo? Hyper. No, I said hyper. You can hear her. You can hear Kellyanne Conway mocking her daughter's concern about her health. Can my mom please? Can you please mom? No, you can't. I want you out of here. You were making you mad. Some 15 fucking year old made you mad. There, you can see her coming in really close and screaming in her ear. Recording. You're never going to record another fucking thing in your life. With you. Your... So, that is the first video that was posted of these things. Now, this is a compilation. TikTok only allows videos of one minute. So this is a compilation of multiple recordings. Now, Claudia posted this herself. She posted this herself, a, a edited compilation of a whole bunch of events in which her mother was hitting her, 
screaming in her face, throwing objects at her and otherwise. This was dropped at the beginning of this month, early January. That was when it got really intense because previous to that, it had mostly just been allegations, which I believe should be taken seriously when a child alleges that they are being abused. You know, yes, that was a death threat. Yes, that was a death threat. That was a death threat, by the way. Yes. Um, what you heard there was indeed a death threat. Um, and let's watch another one because this was posted shortly afterwards. Okay, here we go. This is another compilation from Claudia Conway of her mother's behavior. Here we go. Fuck you. I told you that. You don't fucking listen. No, what the fuck is wrong with you? How do you get coronavirus from the president? You got, everybody got coronavirus from somebody who was, flew in for that event. That's not true. You didn't get coronavirus from the president. You're wrong. You only knew what people thought of you. Yeah, by the way, this is a little bit funny amid a lot of darkness but what you heard kellyanne conway saying there is that you can't get co coronavirus from the president yeah yeah there's clearly some um very strange things going on in kellyanne conway's head okay you don't know because they know you've got other problems Take you, by the way. The only place that'll take you that you weren't going to post about your family anymore. You just lie to everyone and everybody sees it. Everyone sees it. And since you're lucky your mom's pro-life. She said, you're lucky your mom's pro-life, referring to herself. That is another thinly veiled death threat to your own child. You! I thought that was over! It's over! I thought we had who's following you, dumbass! You. So again, a compilation of pieces of larger videos, which presumably still exist, by the way. We don't know if the full versions of this exist because this was Claudia's recording of longer videos chopped up to fit into a TikTok. Now, you can tell by the way that this is being gone about that this is a young person desperately trying to get information out. Claudia, now this is common. People, you know, people who are abused often grow up very fast they learn to do things that other people won't as a survival mechanism i i understand that dan starlight that's perfectly fine of course and that's why we have the content warning um so what we have here is some a, a a a young person who's clearly desperately trying to get out to her following online that she is not in a safe place you know um you are indeed good faith actor indeed you are coming into a dark con um topic now there has been a lot of other things that have transpired str transpired since then uh claudia conway has made like a a lot thank you very much vermin uh we did do like an intro at the beginning but yeah it's a little hard you know to this is why we have this thing up here on the top um the uh there's been a lot that's transpired since then um obviously including the major incident that happened earlier this week um on tiktok uh claudia has posted um yeah claudia has posted like a lot of videos just talking about this and of course it's really really hard to go through them because they're all fragmented tiktoks however uh, we've watched a lot of them. Some of them are now gone, so you can't access them anymore. Though, I do have a video on this where you can see some of the other TikToks that we watched live on my stream, which now no longer exist on TikTok. Uh, social media is a nightmare for trying to keep a history of things that happen, as it turns out. Um, but again, that segment, you can go watch that if you'd like. Um, there will be a link provided to it below after this video is published um that section was pretty messy but we were going through and watching a lot of claudia's tiktoks in which she was trying desperately to counter the narrative that was being pushed by her mother which her mother is basically saying she's a crazy high school you know teenage girl she hates her family she's just acting this out for clout i mean on every allegation you can possibly imagine and remember 
like I said at the beginning, Kellyanne, uh, Kellyanne Conway is a trained professional liar for the United, well, no longer, but she used to be, for the president of the United States. This is somebody who knows how to manipulate the media. And unfortunately, Kellyanne was able to use that very, very well. As a result of this being such a public event, the police and Child Protective Services have been called on numerous occasions. And in fact, Claudia posted multiple uh, covertly recorded videos, um, uh, m multiple covertly recorded videos of the police refusing to take her seriously and cps child protective services also refusing to take her seriously in fact we even have a video of a policeman taking her phone away from her like physically taking her phone away from her um she uh her her mother has been desperately attempting to have her institutionalized now, for those of you who are familiar with situations of severe child abuse, this is a common tactic. Parents will, in an attempt to make their child seem like the irrational party, for, try to have them forcibly institutionalized. Now, now, we don't live in the 1950s anymore, so it's not so easy to just have someone pushed away into a, an asylum where they're locked away and kept away from things. However, it is still possible to have this done. And it's especially possible if you're able to put that individual under duress and have them sign their rights away. And kids, it's as it turns out, are very easy to exploit. You can threaten a kid and have them sign their rights away, and then they will be put away into a facility for a set period amount of time where they won't have any access to technology or communication whatsoever. And it's very hard to tell what's actually happened and how close or if this has ever happened in the past. Because most of the evidence of this has been scrubbed from the internet. Yes, yeah, that is one, but we won't get into that here. So. On Monday, something really, really huge happened, okay? Okay. And this was, this is what we're going to be watching together because I think that it's really good for this to, you know, get out. Um, a, is anybody familiar with the content creator uh, Tana Monjo? Anybody know Tana Monjo? Tana Monjo is a absolutely massive, um, a, a lot of politics people aren't going to know who Tana Monjo is. Uh, Tana Monjo is an absolutely massive, massive, uh, YouTube and Instagram um, influencer. And Tana Monjo is uh, married to one of the Paul brothers. Um, yeah. So pretty huge. You, it, it is, I think. Yeah, I don't think, uh, I don't, I don't think, yeah, I think they are currently. Um, but yeah, Tana Monjo is an absolutely massive influencer. And Tana Monjo got in contact Oh, okay. All right. Well, fair enough. Silent. Okay. Fair enough. Um, regardless, the pa the fact it wasn't actual. Okay. Well, what reg regardless, the, it was a, it was a stunt. Regardless, the 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 um, what am I trying to say? The, the public facing it, it, huge PR, massive PR. Okay. Um. Yeah. Tana Tana is huge. Tana got in contact with Claudia. And managed to record a Skype call from a covert second burner phone that Claudia Conway was running Skype on while she was fighting with her parents. And that's what we're going to watch right now together, okay? This is very, very intense, okay? So we're going to watch this together. Am I? I don't care. Nuts. I think you get it. T Tana Monjo, Monjo, Manjo, Mojo, whatever. Monjo? I think I've been saying that. Isn't that TOS? No. This is not TOS. This is post this is actively hosted on both Instagram and YouTube right now. All right? Okay. So we're going to watch this together. All right? Mojo. Okay. Well, that's fine. We 
this is about a 20-minute video we're going to watch together, okay? Here we go. It's Tana or it's or whatever. So here we go. We're going to watch this right now because I think it's important to hear into it. Now, unfortunately, the only version of this video that exists has uh, Tana, Tana Monjo's uh, voice over it, and I don't think that her commentary is very helpful. But regardless, the video did get out, and this came out on Monday night of this week. So two days ago, this came out, okay? Just after the whole leak thing happened okay so let's listen and by the way it's going to be a little bit hard to hear i'm sorry there's nothing i can do about this this is the quality of the video that we have so right there you can hear the radio of what appears to be a I got that. Yeah, I got that, Coconut. We'll be talking about that after. Um, what appears to be a police radio scanner, you can hear. In this video, you will hear four vo voices. You will hear the voice of Kellyanne Conway, the voice of George Conway. George Conway, which we who we haven't talked about quite yet, but George Conway is Claudia Conway's dad and also one of the major players in the Lincoln Foundation, or the Lincoln Project. Sorry, not the Lincoln Foundation, the Lincoln Project. The Lincoln Project being the like, the like anti-Trump Republicans. Um, yeah, this needs to have closed captions, but it doesn't have it yet, unfortunately. So you'll hear Kellyanne, Claudia, George, and a fourth voice that is yet unidentified, but appears to be, based on the talking patterns and the radio sounds in the background, a member of law enforcement of some type. So those who's that those are the voices you're going to hear in here. So let's listen. I do not feel safe with that lady bottle her hand. I don't feel safe because of the shooting by sneaky guys with all their cards. They're calling the cops on Claudia in her house right now with her fucking burner phone. Listen. You can hear Claudia desperately trying to say, I am not safe. I am not safe. Listen. I did delete it because I'm scared of you. I deleted it because I'm scared of you. You're the reason to be scared of me. You're the one to get people arrested and killed here. You have no reason to be scared of me, you're the one who's trying to get people arrested and hurt here. Now, I, I don't want to take too long away from the video itself, but this is something that's called uh, DARVO. If anyone has heard of the term DARVO, um, uh, let me just get you the, the full acronym. Um, it means deny, attack, and reverse victim and offender. This is a very, very, very common abuse tactic, specifically in interpersonal abuse where uh the abuser will regularly play the victim to other people and they will again deny then they will attack and then once the attack is complete they will reverse the victim and offender and act and pretend that they were acting in self-defense uh it's it's a it could be considered a form of gaslighting yes this is a real term uh darvo by the way again this is a commonly used uh, term in discussing abuse yeah so yeah it's very very fucked up but again it, it usually refers to uh interpersonal abuse but yeah projection yeah let's continue I was like I'm lying when, when the, the guy the like she knows what I just want to make sure she knows her Dude, I just witnessed, I have her on mute, but I just witnessed his mom literally tell her daughter, like, you're a fucking cunt, like, I hate you, like, you can't get likes anymore on TikTok, so you have to show, you, you don't take your tits out anymore, like, you have to show me abusing you, like, to... That was before the video started, and of course, all we have here for this is, um, all we have for this is evidence, is, is Tana Manjo's claim. That's all that we have here, uh, for this particular one because that was not recorded. However, given the previous behavior that we have witnessed here, it is believable that that did happen in the call, that Kellyanne Conway, um, before the police or the officials arrived, was saying these things. Get likes, like, while she's sitting here, they're trying to break her phones, like. 
It's just whack. It's so ass. And they literally, because of the fucking, like, white power and privilege they have. How am I dangerous? Because of my phone and my asshole? People to get me arrested. She's asking people to get me arrested. No. You posted a naked picture of me. You literally posted a nude photo of me. And you can say you didn't, but millions of people saw it. That's the truth. Millions of people did see it. It's true. You can literally hear Kellyanne in real time denying actual fact, just denying absolute fact. Kellyanne is claiming, oh, it was I wasn't posted by me, it was a fake account. No, because they all get deleted. It's really bad. And the thing is, is I'm sure that Twitter doesn't want to get involved unless the feds do. But right now, because Kellyanne Conway is a in a position of incredible power, seems like nothing's gonna happen. Claudia. Claudia and Kellyanne. Kellyanne's the mom. Claudia's the girl. And the, the girl who's recording right now is Tana Monjo, a very, very big Instagrammer who you can see right here. As you can see, this video is directly from this popular blue-checked account, by the way. Let's continue. Trending. She's trying to blame her for trending. And literally, the, the parents came to her. The parents come to her and they're like, it's your fault. Um, you're threatening your mom's life. That's why we're sending you away to jail. Fine, Gina. Thank you. And she goes, how am I threatening her life? And they go, because she, um, she's going to go to jail. Yeah, she knows I'm live. She asked me to go live. I would never, ever, ever without... So this is Tana explaining that she was directly asked by Claudia Conway to go live. Claudia was the one who reached out to, to Tana Monjo and said, please get my story out. And then that's how they have a connection here because there's a phone in the room with Skype running on it. And that's how this recording was done. So that's pretty wild in and of itself. Take Listen, please, if you're here and you're having a hard time, do not feel obligated to stay for this section. There will be more content shortly later, but this needs to be covered. This is why we have the warning. Step away if you need it, okay? That's all. There'll be more content later that will be less heavy, okay? For tonight, obviously. But like, fuck Kellyanne Conway and like... You're a phone being addict. A teenager being a phone addict. It's the only way. Like you posted story. photos of because her naked today. What the fuck? My story is fiction. My story is fiction. I have proof. I can tell them this. You have proof of that. Uh, my story is fiction. My story is fiction. I'm not threatening you. I'm five I foot, sleep. ninety-five pounds. <laughs> you can hear her pleading. And the shit they're saying just so fucking mean and damaging. How can someone be in a position of power? That makes no sense. There's no there's no reason to do that. You can't call me mentally ill when They've literally in just this phone call called her like mentally ill, a cunt, like a disgrace to their family. Fucking in for what? You posted pornography, that's a fact. Mom, that's not even like, it's not even up for negotiation, like, it's not even up for discussion. You posted pornography. Now that right there, that right there is, ca is categorically gaslighting. Saying that something that did happen didn't happen while calling someone crazy is quite literally the definition of gaslighting. It's when you attempt to make someone doubt their own sanity by 
denying even basic facts about reality repeatedly and they have nowhere else they can go it's manipulate it's deeply manipulative but it's it's manipulative on a level that makes you uh lose track of what's actually real it might you might have been asked it might have been an accident you might have done it on purpose Regardless of the circumstance, you posted Claudia has a video of the mom basically admitting that it happened, though. That you had possession of. And where is it? You deleted it off your phone. It was my... Excuse me, it's never... And the mom... ...that it's the Paris Hilton sex tape. You're sounding crazy. You just told the nuns... Paris Hilton... Are you okay? Are you okay? Yo! Sorry, I know this is like a small blip of light in the darkness, but damn, Claudia! Oh, that was a that was a little just a little bit of the demon energy right there, right? The are you okay? Jesus. Listen, I, I gotta clap for Claudia there. God damn, that's brave. You okay? This is like when I was in the conversation with Rob, except so much more serious. Are you all right? <laughs> powerful, powerful mo mo movement. The hell energy. The dad's just very passive or the, whatever the male thing is. No, because thousands of people have been talking about it. Like the mom was like, or Claudia was like, she just wants us to go away. And the dad was just like, that's how it is, like type. They just have so much white power and privilege that they get to call the cops on her. They're trying to send her to a psych ward right now. Like you're gonna send her. She's she's perfectly sane. She's just being abused. <laughs> Did she just say people get sex trafficked for what they post? Pretty sure that's exactly yeah. what Yo! Rotten hell. Now that is the voice. We do not know who this is right here. We don't know who that voice is. That voice sounds to be uh, either a... Uh, uh, like a police officer or some sort of or maybe could be even secret service it's somebody who appears to be you know who who is frequently interrupted by um by uh you know the uh phone wait what's up with the phone and the other person is that the only person we can get to know about this yes uh so for those who have, are just joining now just a quick little recap uh this video is by massive Instagram influencer Tana Monjo. Tana Monjo was approached and connected and, and requested by Claudia Conway, the victim in this situation, to live stream a covertly recorded um, Skype call. And so Tana did. Yeah, credit where credit is due. Tana was able to record this and live stream this on Monday. This was live streamed. All of this is happening live. This is not fakeable. This is not. This is one hundred percent legit. Like it's not your followers. Like it's like people with brains. Yeah, yeah, that's fair enough. United States. Who calls you the United States? So listen. So let's plot it. Okay. Listen. So obviously those people are. They believe that they have your best interests in mind, right? But for every one of those people, you have to remember there's probably someone out there who doesn't have your best interests. So this is some unknown third party who is saying that uh, you, you don't need to, Gina. Uh, oh, wait, Kellyanne, you mean? You, yeah, okay. So uh, that voice, we do not know off, off, the, uh, off the cuff who that is. We don't know who that is. Um, they appear to be like some sort of they have some role of counseling. And what they're saying right now is like they're, they're literally – this figure who's supposed to be able to help and protect her, presumably, is stating, oh, well, you do realize, like, there's lots of bad people in your followers as well, right? Terrible. Like your own parents. I'm playing devil's advocate. I'm just trying to explain to you. I'm playing devil's advocate. I'm like you're playing devil's advocate. Like, literally, yeah, devils. Who take 
say coming here and doing something deceitful or harmful to your family. You know what I mean? So just remember that it's not only the people who like you who see these things. It's the whole world that sees it. Okay. Like, yeah, no shit, bro. That is, that's a good thing that the whole world is seeing this. <laughs> they almost said it themselves right there. who you should have called us they're literally blaming her as they're refusing to help her literally this is sick this is what it can feel like to be a child who is suffering from abuse that even the people you turn to who are supposed to help you do not help you and instead blame you for what you did it's disgusting Claudia's on FaceTime. Listen to that. Being pampered and spoiled like she usually is. That's the mom trying to cast as much doubt as possible on her own daughter. There's there's no, no responsibility. Like, it's just, she's not scared of the asshole. Um, are you scared? <clears throat> the mo did you hear the mom? She's not scared of me. We have it on video. Like, yeah, there's a gun off camera. <laughs> Kellyanne. Oh, no, I'm okay. And then when they just take me, they can, 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 I would never go live like this, guys, either. But, like, I'm putting you in an ambulance. So, actually, it could be. That that's not a police and that is instead some form of like ems but we don't know for sure uh, yeah we don't know for sure and that's all no you're degrading my mental health you're using it as an excuse excuse me i wasn't the doctors you actually got mentally ill well i wasn't the doctors who hospitalized you yes because i had panic attacks that's to do with my reputation all she cares about i mean obviously i guess that's all you care about is a Sick Republican politician. Yeah, listen, that's so you were suicidal. Psychiatric problem. Are you okay? You were suicidal. Having anxiety and depression doesn't. I'd be suicidal too if I fucking lived with you, Kellyanne Conway. You fucking kind. Yeah, I was in psychiatric unit three different times this year. And the why? Now it's really interesting because this right here grants a lot of credence to Claudia's story. Claudia has stated for literally months that she struggles with depression and anxiety but that doesn't mean she's a liar and that is true this is how even minor mental health conditions can be used against victims of abuse I got arrested for assaulting me. I got it all. And <sighs> proof all of her assaulting me. Literally proof of her assaulting me. And they had to arrest her because the Secret Service was there. She was working. You have immunity. No. You were working for Donald Trump. Immunity. You have immunity. Literally spitting facts right now. Uh, like this is referencing something we don't have full information for anymore. But it appears that there was a previous situation where Kellyanne hit her or physically harmed her in front of a so of a secret service worker thank you wolfgar bro that's so sad Pop off, Claudia. Oh my god, I, 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 <laughs> we just stand a bad bitch. I'm sorry, I can't. I really can't. 
Oh, Wait, okay. I'm going off live. Hold on. No. Bro. Wait. Or stay? No. I don't feel comfortable being near you. Oh, is she talking to them? I think so. Oh, we're muted. They will write it down. I need space Very hard to hear here. Sorry. Such power. The police just asked her, asked the rich ass mom if she's gonna call someone to evaluate the abuse or if they should. And the mom goes, No, I will. Like, oh. don't worry, Wesley. We'll be talking about other stuff later. Come back later. She knows, she knows I'm live. That's good. She just called her daughter an addict again. I'm an addict to what? You can't compare this to alcoholism or being... Imagine abusing your daughter and then using their phone for help and then you're like, oh, you're an addict. We're sending you to a psych ward. I'm not lying that I've ever laid a hand on you. That was all investigated. It's proof. CPS New Jersey. We've seen the proof with our own eyes, chat. We've seen the proof with our own eyes. Comparing my... You were comparing my phone to... Oh my God, I... People are texting me, like... Am I allowed? Am I not allowed to be on my phone? Is that illegal? Look how mad, like scared the mom is, because she fucking knows. That's just, it's the scariest thing. They never believe the kids ever. They never believe the kids. The bar for for taking a, a, somebody out of the house who's hurting a kid is this low. Are you kidding me? Do you know who you are? are you you're a white, blonde, fifty-four-year-old woman who worked for Donald Trump. Fuck go off. <laughs> Don't you love her? Talk your shit, Claudia. We're here. Damn, Claudia. Damn, Claudia. Here. To you and to your mom, you're just two more individuals. To the letter, she doesn't want to exactly just be another person. Okay. If you were anybody else, if you were anybody else, you'd be in jail. That's why she goes Facts. out. Facts. Harassing me and getting to see what harassing me. I don't get anyone to harass you. You just told the world they see the video. You posted a, 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 a nude photo of me today. I should go to jail. You just said that. Because you posted a nude photo of me. You just said I should go to jail. You just said that. Ms. Yes, you, you deserve to go to jail. Let, let me speak to you for a minute. Stop! Ow! What the fuck? Don't fuck me. Don't fuck me. I, I'm alive. I, I need space for problems. I don't feel safe near her. Okay, just so you both can get out and get out. Guys, it's so sad. She's literally, she's literally mad because I'm on my phone. That you it's can't scary. even call 911. It's literally scary. That's You're fine. scared. Claudia, if, if you want this situation to come put to the her, place, 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 force to get her to obey okay those days are over just so you know <laughs> yes. um at night the jersey did a full investigation no finding cps washington dc full investigation Here's yeah record. they work for you con i think this is the night she just has to go george she has i'm trending on twitter stop stop talking to me like, she's so upset she's saying she my news on her twitter this is the night she has to go Today. Did you see that? Listen. No, he, has he has nothing to do with this right now, okay? Um, but, what? but in Washington. That's her dad, by the way. He has nothing to do with this right now. In DC, all three of the other kids had to be interviewed. My mother, who saw her all the way through the interview, who lives with the sound. You are actively gaslighting them right These now. These are the facts. I just need to know what the Metropolitan Police Department did. They were involved, Child Protective Service was involved. No finding whatsoever. She diverted resources away from kids who, who really are in need. Then imagine that. Imagine victim. Imagine blaming your own daughter for 
taking resources away from people who actually quote unquote need it. Holy shit. She has called the police. She does. They show up and then their rich white Republican parents just fucking know them and they don't do anything. I'm pretty sure. She- She's on. She's on TikTok tonight, telling me I will be arrested. arrested. I will be arrested. I should be arrested. You posted a nude photo. I did not. Yes, you did. I did not. There's no. Yes, she did. That was a fact. It was literally trending on Twitter. This is. It's. It's not a matter of of contention. This is fact. Potentially posted anything of you. There is no new photo of you. Just like the officers that quote millions of people saw you when Carmelo himself told you. No, that was the one tweet mom, no. since then it's been no. sent around. No, it's not sent around. You're wrong. It is nowhere. They don't see it. You don't see I it. I saw it's it. You're making this up to be Bitch. a big shot. I'm not making and it's instead of calling the police, line. excuse me, instead of calling the police or Diana, who has an active case open, Diana Winona, or your mother, you went right to TikTok. They see you have an addiction. You need to break this addiction. You need to go somewhere where they help girls like you. Who She's literally can't trying to take her home. It's so because it's like she knows it's like the only way out. I have an addiction to my phone. But you think TikTok? I'm literally barely on it, and when I am, it's. Isn't it interesting that the main objective here by Kellyanne Conway appears to be to try to get her daughter to a place where she will not be able to communicate with the only people who could potentially help her daughter. You need to go to a place where you can't be on your phone. Hmm. Try to get help from people because you are... You think TikTok is real. You think TikTok is real. You think that... And you said, I lo- um, I, I'm so glad I have the love of 1.5 million people. You have the love of a family and friends. No. Hi. I'm not. Oh, the cops are here again. And I don't think she's going to make it this time. She needs serious evaluation. For what? I don't what think do she's going to make it this time. Serious evaluation. serious evaluation. I bet so. Yep. Yeah, she's here. If only the world could see you like this. If only. Heidi. About oh. what? If only the world could see you like this. If only. The cops are here because the cops get calls. Well, guess what, Claudia? The world is seeing now. The world is seeing now. From strangers, and they have to take it seriously. People sit on their asses like she does, online, in the dark, pretending it's real life, calling her mother a fucking cunt, get the fuck out. Who, she I'm just called her a cunt ten minutes before this. She's talking to MTV and buy a pound for her. It's such a joke. She doesn't do any of that. She blew you guys off completely. The fact that, she ha- that you have the cops here because of my Girl, you don't want to go to Viacom anyway. So was the cops, yeah. I'm entertaining them. She's bringing a lot of hate my way, and I just have to now evidence it all. That's what I was trying to do is get all the evidence. I'm not bringing any hate your way. Be a in my head she posted a nude she photograph of her minor daughter today to her own Twitter story, and then is going to abuse the daughter for bringing her hate. What a waste of space. So the cop just took her if phone. Texting, still you can see, you can see that the image up here has gone blank. The cop just took the phone. You just said I'm texting people. People are texting me. You said that yeah, my friends were. Are they still awake? Good. All witnesses. I can hardly wait to see all witnesses. Yeah. yeah, you know they're always saying if you're okay. And, and now the they know. Are told you're not okay, and they come here to see if you're okay. Does it make you feel better? If you're anywhere loved, that strangers on TikTok. She's so mean. Called New Jersey, called Governor Murphy's, whatever, and then they call the cops, and then they have to call Dyfus. Well, you feel better about this? Uh, and they get the truth. Just post on your Instagram. On your Twitter. I don't have Instagram. I never had. That's you. I've never had Facebook in my life. I have never had TikTok in my life. I'm not so insecure. And l- listen to that. She's even calling her insecure for having social media. There's yes, there is more in Nibiru. We'll be talking about you it love shortly. Social media. I hate it. I have to live my life offline. 
I would too if I was a fucking abuser. And kids who rely upon me. And there are three others besides you, and I spent one whole year on you and so lot for this. One whole hey, year. we got the cop. <gasps> and there the call ends. This is when the cop figures out that the call is on. Look, you can Two just see it right there. if I was a right fucking there. abuser. And kids who rely upon me. And there are three others besides you, and I spent one whole year on you and so lot for this. There we go. There's the cop. So it was a cop. I didn't actually know that this was. I didn't know there was. I didn't actually see this bit. I didn't even catch this one the first time I was listening through it. I don't think you can see the badge number or anything. Maybe. Maybe there's a segment there. I'm sure people will have already discovered that if that's the case. You love social media. I don't know if his numbers taped. It wouldn't be. I wouldn't be surprised if it was. I would too if I was a fucking abuser. And there are three others besides you, and I spent one whole year on you and so lot for this. One whole year. And there it goes. The Fuck. The cop just hung up. The cop Fuck. just hung up. Fuck. Okay, I'm gonna save this live, y'all. I'm gonna get back to all of me, like, fucking... And then it's all just commentary from there. So we've reached everything that we need to see from this video. <sighs> yeah, maybe. Listen, this... Um, after this, uh, after this was recorded and made it out to the, to the, uh, oh yeah, tons of people have this video. I, I promise you, um, uh, this video has been recorded. However, there has been more since this happened. On Tuesday, yesterday, Claudia Conway deleted most of the TikToks about this event off of her TikTok. Um, and then... She offered a public statement, which we are going to watch right now. And then we're going to have a little discussion about this whole situation. So let's watch the uh, public statements that were issued by Claudia yesterday after deleting nearly everything relevant to this off of her TikTok. Yesterday, when I was made aware of the situation, I was distraught um, and very, very upset. And I acted irrationally and impulsively. And it is something that I do regret. I know that my mom would never, ever post anything to hurt me like that intentionally, and I do believe she was hacked. On another note, I want to apologize for making all of this public, and the best option right now and the best path right now for the both of us um, is to get off of social media and work on our relationship. Before you guys say this is forced, this isn't forced. Um, this isn't forced, and we all do things and say things that we don't mean um, in the heat of the moment and out of frustration and fear um, and anxiety, and I'm sorry. It was not mature of me, and we are going to work on our relationship offline. Yesterday, when I was, I was made aware of the situation, I... And I believe there was a the second situation one I that followed. Let me just grab that one real quick, and we'll watch that one, and then we'll have our little conversation. I think it's this one. If I'm not mistaken, I don't believe it's, uh, let me make sure I got the right one. Please stop calling authorities because it only hurts us more than it helps us. Um, making threats and whatnot is really putting my safety, um, at risk and putting me in danger. Um, and I get that you are trying to help me, but it is by putting my family in danger. You're putting oh, me in danger. Oh, sorry. I didn't have it up. So Oops, my bad. Let me replay this. Let me replay this. I'm sorry about that. Please that was just smaller. authorities because it only hurts us more than it helps us. Um, making threats and whatnot is really putting my safety um, at risk and putting me in danger. Um, and I get that you are trying to help me, but it is by putting my family in danger, you're putting me in danger. So please stop with that. We're going to handle this privately and I will never, ever be speaking about this publicly. Um, Please stop calling authorities because it only hurts us. Please stop calling authorities. That was the last thing that she posted hurts us. one day ago. More she hasn't helps. posted since then on TikTok, where she previously posted very, very frequently. Ne I'll never, ever be speaking about this publicly. Um, now, keep in mind, there, as I stated earlier, there have been multiple occasions in which... Claudia said that she will never willingly go off of social media. Now, is it possible? Is it technically possible that she's changed her mind on that? Yeah, 
I think it's technically possible. But I think given the fact that literally Monday night, late Monday night, she reached out to Tana Monjo in order to live stream this conversation and then released a very, very, very stilted, highly polished TikTok in which she says, please stop talking to me. Please don't call the authorities anymore. I think there's reason that a lot of people um, are suspicious. Unfortunately, it is incredibly, incredibly difficult to know what to do. And uh, how do you go forward from here? Because what we are looking at is a situation in which every institution that is supposed to even provide some protection to disempowered people in our society has failed. And by failed, I mean has refused to help because the person in question is a powerful figure in the Trump administration. And that's a very, very sobering um, thought. And the fact of the matter is there's not much that any of us here on the internet can actually do except to make sure that this story gets out in the most salient and straightforward manner possible. And that is why I made this segment today. My goal is to be able to make sure that people are aware of this happening so that maybe there's a small chance that someone who actually knows her might be able to help her. The fact of the matter is that every single red flag for severe familial abuse is visible in Claudia's evidence. And not only that, but Claudia's story checks out really hard. Um, like, the claims that she's made have been verified in video, and lots and lots of people have written on this, and yet she's still in danger. And it goes to show you just how much power in our society a single parent can have over their children. The children are deeply, deeply disempowered in our current society, and especially the children of the rich and powerful. And it is, uh, it's very um, upsetting. It's very disturbing. And again, just remember that this person, the person who's doing all of this, Kellyanne Conway, who tweeted out a photo, a nude photo of her underage daughter, was the face of the president of the United States of America. And still, no justice can be had. And who knows where Claudia is right now? There's a lot to discuss about this. We don't know what's up with Claudia right now. Uh, no one knows for sure. The information just has stopped. She posted that, and unfortunately, the chances are that a lot of people, um, that a lot of people are just going to let it go. And it's not going to be talked about, and it's just going to be taken at face value that that definitely wasn't a forced video, and that it, it definitely isn't strange that she hasn't posted in a day. But in reality, it's very possible that Claudia Conway is in an institution right now. Now, thankfully, we don't live in a time where... Uh, we don't live in a time where stuff like lobotomies happen or, you know, it's much less common to experience um, abuse at the hands of mental health staff. It still happens for sure. Absolutely. So we can hope that her, sa her physical safety is maintained. But who knows how long she won't be able to actually connect with the outside world. 
who knows how long she could be held up in legal jeopardy by the fact that her mom has so much power over her and so much influence and can pull so many strings. But the fact of the matter is that uh, this just goes to show you how unbelievably isolating and insulated uh, people with power can be in the current structures that exist. And it is really upsetting. But what we can hope is that the attention on this will lead to, you know, uh, powerful investigators looking into this and hopefully finding some form of justice. Now, just so you know, I don't know if you know this, but Claudia Conway did indeed attempt to emancipate herself, which is when you're basically granted legal freedom from your parents um, and are given over to another guardian. That um, was called off at some point previous to this event. Um, so nobody really knows what the state is on that. They said no? Yeah. Yeah. Was it denied? I can't recall. I, I don't know about that part. That part I didn't know. Is this something that's more common amongst conservative parents, or am I generalizing? Well, I mean, honestly... I don't know if the statistics exist. All I'm going to say is that I grew up in a very conservative family and the supremacy of the family patriarch and family matriarch for that matter, um, you know, as diminished as it is under their hyper patriarchal systems are indeed kept set like in a position of high regard. So I don't know. I don't know about the stats, um, but yeah, it's complicated. And I do think that there is a, an ideological bent to this. There is undeniably, um, you know, these types of traditional, like hyper traditional um, nuclear family structures do make it a lot harder for victims of abuse to be able to talk to anyone. It makes sense if you think about it. it the less people that you have in your life, the less people who can know that you're being mistreated, the less likely it is that your abuser fucks up and gets caught the more likely it is that you're going to continue living under that abuse. Um, thankfully, I do think that there's a good chance that she will be physically okay. I think it would be very hard for her at this point to not be like physically safe. But uh, the fact of the matter is that a lot of this is psychological and psychological is should not psychological abuse should not be downplayed. And I just want to make note of something because there's another figure here who has been shockingly quiet, and that is George Conway, her father, who was there in this event and didn't even want to be involved. He didn't even give a shit. He just sat there. Talk about a level of dissociation from your own family. Yeah, passively enabling this. It's really, really difficult to report on stuff like this, but it has to be done because if we don't talk about this, if people aren't aware of these horrible things happening, how can we possibly ever fix them? Because the fact of the matter is that people who don't have massive TikTok followings go through this all the time and worse. And our society puts so little trust and care towards disempowered people be they young, be they disabled, or even just minorities. That this is a commonplace thing. And you know what's even worse? Is that a lot of times, the very structures that our society has built supposedly to help people turn against them. The police are a great example. This entire situation, we have seen numerous videos of the police not just not helping claudia but specifically granting credence to kellyanne conway now why is it just a passive uh, effect of the way that the police are struggled does claudia actually know people at the police department i mean that's probably true does claudia have connections is it a political thing really hard really hard to tell probably a little bit of all of it did I say Kellyanne? Sorry, Kellyanne. 
I, I may have uh, slipped up there. I apologize if I misstated something, uh, if I said the wrong name there, but that's my bad. Yep. You talk to the child separately. That's what you're supposed to do. And you're also supposed to grant credence to children because as it turns out, when children are lying, they're not very good liars. Children don't lie well. But do you know who does lie well? It's usually really, really easy to tell if a child is lying. But you know who does lie well? Professionally trained representatives of the President of the United States. Those people lie really well. And those are the types of people that I would expect to be able to use every possible avenue to hold back any negative effect from hitting themselves, even if it meant silencing their own child, which appears to be what's going on here. And I just want to make one last statement before we get on to some other things, which is that isn't it disgusting that we are now two days, two days after Cla uh, Kellyanne Conway tweeted out a a not say a, a a naked image of her own underage daughter to millions of people on the internet, and we know nothing, not banned from Twitter. Not arrested. Don't even know who's looking into it. Don't even know if anybody's looking into it. Kind of messed up, isn't it? We have a long, long way to go as a society. Like a really, really long way to go as a society. And this is pretty much the, tr the, 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 the proof of it. 